Hi guys, welcome back. Great to have you with us again on Backyard Russia Channel. Uh, today we're going to go have a look at how a lot of uh, Russians around here live, um, how the majority of Russians live. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so as those of you who have been following along with our channel would know, we're an Australian family who moved to Russia in 2019 and we now live in a triplex uh, with our own little yard at the back. Uh, if you want to know a little bit more about our family, uh, you can check out our About Us video, which will be on our homepage, and uh, I'll also leave a link below. So, as you might know um, in Western Australia where we came from people generally live in uh, they generally live in um, suburban houses what uh, they'd call Chastny Dom in uh, Russia so we're not really very familiar with apartment living so that's what we're going to go do today. We're going to go and check out uh, what it's like for living in apartments. And uh, yeah, so let's go. So just standing here near where uh, we usually get milk from. This is the corner where the truck st stands. And uh, behind us is the Matrushkin Dvor. And uh, yeah, it's uh, got a lot of um, uh, it's called the Matrushkin Dvor. We would um, probably call it like uh, Babushka dolls. Um, it's got all these Matrushkas painted all over the side of them. Um, in English, we just call them Babushka dolls or nesting dolls. Uh, it's pretty interesting. And uh, I think they only started building this place probably eight or nine years ago. Uh, in 2013, when we came here, a lot of this area was just forests and fields. So it's, uh, it's been built up pretty quickly. Well, uh, a lot of these apartment buildings vary in uh, appearance and uh, specifications, like uh, what they're like on the inside. They all have uh, a couple of common basic elements. Um, they'll all have some kind of communal recreation area. They'll all have uh, shops on the bottom where you can buy food, get your nails done, get your hair done, and uh, one of them even has a driving school. Um, so yeah, and uh, the, the recreation areas can have, you know, play equipment, um, exercise equipment, which is actually pretty cool, um, and uh, even ice rinks in the winter. So being from Western Australia and uh, never really having been in an apartment. I didn't really know what they were like on the inside until uh, a little while ago, a couple of months back. I um, got uh, asked to help a friend move from one apartment to another apartment and uh, so I actually got to see what they look like on the inside. The uh, apartment that my friends moved out of was actually a fairly nice apartment. It had a balcony, it had two rooms, uh, one was the bedroom, the other one was the kitchen, dining, and uh, lounge room, kind of all in one. It also had a bathroom, which was uh, just a toilet, bath, shower, and um, uh, what else did it have? Oh, a wash machine. And um, both rooms opened onto the balcony, and uh, yeah, it was a... Uh, Fairly nice apartment. I was told it was co it cost about fourteen thousand rubles a month, and uh, it came with a bed and washing machine, fridge, all that kind of stuff. Then the uh, the apartment that they moved to from that one, in my opinion, was a a nicer apartment. It did cost a bit more. It was uh, sixteen thousand 
or it was a month, but um, it was about 10 square meters bigger. It had an extra room. So it has a bedroom now, a lounge room. The balcony has a nicer view. And uh, the kitchen's a little bit more modern, uh, a bit nicer, it has a separate toilet, which is just huge for a toilet. Um, but yeah, very nice apartment. Unfortunately, I was in a bit of a hurry uh, helping him to move, so footage was a bit uh, ordinary, so hopefully you'll forgive me for that. So the, uh, the parking around these apartments is often quite crowded, and uh, it's quite hard to find parking sometimes, but a lot of people don't actually have a car and take uh, public transport around here. And uh, the public transport's actually pretty good. The buses are fairly regular, and if you use the app uh, on your phone, uh, Yandex Maps, you can actually tell how far away the next uh, bus is gonna be, so it's actually pretty, pretty handy. So whilst there's no room for a garden living in these apartments, a lot of people have their own little uh, country, like country house or um, summer, summer cottage, um, which is also called uh, a dacha in Russian. And uh, these are usually located somewhere near a river or, uh, or a lake or something. And uh, they're really quite lovely places uh, where you can pick berries, mushrooms, go to the mushrooms and uh, grow a garden and just enjoy a more healthy and uh, wholesome time with the whole family all together and uh, that's great. That's uh, really nice. Quite often um, the children will go and spend their holidays with the grandparents down at the uh, dacha and then um, the parents will uh, visit on the weekends or after work when they can make it and uh, yeah it's uh, quite a nice little uh, tradition that they have here so with all this fresh produce that uh, gets grown out of the dutches you might ask yourself as I did where do they store it all and uh, <clears throat> um, the answer is they store it in these big underground cellars and I'd often seen the entrances to these places before but I didn't actually know what they were for until uh, my friend actually took me to took me inside his one uh, when he took me to go uh, I was helping him out um, carrying something to a dacha for him um, his car wasn't big enough so we took mine but um, yeah they're fantastic this in uh, some areas they have these big underground storage units, quite cool, and uh, I think um, yeah, you can keep potatoes and stuff down there easy, they had all jars of uh, preserved tomatoes and, and uh, pickled broccoli, or not broccoli, cauliflower, sauerkraut, it's a fantastic idea, um, they're not huge. The storage areas aren't huge, but um, if you're going to live in an apartment, having a dacha and one of those storage things, it's got to be the way to go. Still a lot of construction going on in this area, and uh, we're now going past the apartments that uh, one of my friends likes to call Chernobyl. Uh, it's because the uh, finish quality on these ones is uh, not particularly very good. And uh, that's, that goes for the inside and the outside. So those um, underground cellars are only open at certain times of the day. But if you're gonna live in the apartments, uh, having a dacha and one of those uh, cellar things, it's gotta be a must. It's a fantastic idea. Okay, so that wraps up this video. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed 
Uh, this little glimpse into apartment life in Russia, what they're like a little bit, uh, was by no means a comprehensive video, but uh, we hope that you found it interesting all the same. If you did find it interesting, uh, don't forget to let us know what you thought down in the comments, and uh, maybe you can let us know what life is like where you live. Um, if you would like to support the channel, uh, you can uh, do that by uh, checking out the affiliate links down below. Uh, it's some stuff that we use ourselves and um, recommend. Uh, otherwise, there is um, other ways you can support us uh, also linked down there as well. Um, we thank you for all your support, all of you who have already um, support us financially and all of you who watch regularly um, means a lot to us and really helps our family and gives us the ability to continue going with this channel um, yeah we thank you all for watching once again and till next time take care and bye 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 привет ребята